The purpose of this video is to show you how to access student assessment history and individual student profiles in Edugence. To access Edugence, go to pisd.edugence.com. Chrome is the preferred browser. You will log on with your usual network username, first name, dot last name, and password. Once you have accessed Edugence, you're going to click on the blue box next to Reports. And then over on the left hand panel, you will select the option that says Plano Assessments. In the orange box, you see Combined Assessments. The first option that is there is Student Assessment History. Now, depending on the permissions that are set up for you in Edugence, you may have the option to be able to see either a grade level report or a teacher level report. For the purpose of today's demonstration, I'm going to click on teacher and show you a teacher level report. From this menu at the top, you can select campus if you are rostered to more than one campus. You can select teacher if you have full campus access. You can select semester. You can also select a particular class that that teacher teaches. And then you'll be able to click on the green box to generate the report. Now it's important to know that for the purpose of this presentation, Edugence has set up a test class for us. So although this does say Armstrong Middle School, these are not actually Armstrong students, nor is this technical student data. This is just a test case for us to be able to use for demonstration purposes. Now at the top of the page you will see test data in columns. So we have STAR and EOC, we have COGAT, and then we have all four of our MAP assessments at the top. Underneath that we have Reading, Math, Science, Social Studies, and Writing for STAR and EOC. We have COGAT Profiles, COGAT Verbal Score, COGAT Nonverbal, COGAT Quantitative, and COGAT Composite. And then for MAP, we have Fall, Winter, and Spring Scores. Over on the left side, you'll notice the student names. And each student has two rows. That allows us to show both current student data and prior year student data, allowing us to have more information about the students. Under the student's name, you will see demographic information with a rollover, as well as icons that show you any special populations that that particular student may belong to. The columns that you see here are able to be sorted simply by clicking on the top of each of those columns. So for example, if I wanted to sort this class by their COGAT profile, I would just click right there on that P, and it would sort the columns. Right here, they're sorted from lowest to highest. If I click again, it will sort it from highest to lowest. It sorts by the most recent score in that current year. So now if I want to see an individual student's assessment history, I will just click on a student's name over here on the side. If you click on a student's name and nothing happens, it is likely because your pop-up blocker is on. So over in the top right hand corner of your toolbar, you're going to look for a red X. When you click on that red X, one of the options says always allow pop-ups from Edugence. That will enable you to be able to always click on a student name and go immediately to that particular student's profile. Now at the top of the student profile, we see the student's name and ID. We see their campus, their grade, their demographic, and their special populations as well. Your students will also have their school picture here, just like it appears on their picture card in their cumulative folder. The first screen that opens is the student's schedule which gives you the courses that the student is enrolled in and the teachers that teach those courses. The next option is state assessments. For state assessments you see STAR data, but you will also see TELPASS data if the student is an ELL. The first line of information you see there is just general information about the STAR test that the student has taken. 
whether or not they met the level 1, 2, or 3 standard, and what version of the test was taken. In this case, the student took star S, which is standard or regular star. Underneath that, you get a little bit more specific information about how the student performed on STAR. You still see test version and what level of standard they met. You see what language of test they took, either English or Spanish. And then next to the reporting categories, what you'll see is the percent of questions that that student got right on each of those reporting categories depending on the subject area test. The next tab over says Other Assessment. This is where you will find the map probability ranges. Notice that the key is here that tells you what each of those colored bands stand for. And just as it always has, it shows that particular student's growth over time for as long as they have been taking map in our district. The layout that you see here is in a 2x2 two two formation in order to allow you to print all of these on one page. But if you're using this screen to conference with parents, you could, of course, just zoom in a little bit closer to be able to show a parent a particular probability range for the purposes of parent conferences. Underneath that, you'll see the map data broken out by strands for every map test the student has taken. And then at the very bottom of the page, you'll find their COGAT score the COGAT score from every year they've taken COGAT in the district, their standard age score, and their age percentile rank score for each of the batteries on COGAT and then for their composite as well. Here the COGAT profiles will eventually be linked to the Houghton Mifflin publishing website which will allow you to access the COGAT profiles for each of these students. Now if I scroll all the way back to the top, you'll notice that my last option here is for attachments. This is an option that we've never had before. This allows us to upload a PDF, a video, or an audio file to a particular student's profile, and that piece of data will live with that student's profile forever. Now we as a district have not decided how we're going to use this particular function yet, so please do not upload any attachments to a student at this time. But just know that this is an option that we have that truly allows this to be so much more than just student assessment history. So this is the reason why we're calling this now a student profile, because this gives us the capability of making this more than just about their history of student assessments in our district. For more information about this report or any other reports in Edugence, please contact your Assessment and Accountability Department.